when I found out uh, I got the part of Silver Ransom when I was sitting on uh, at a Mexican restaurant just around the corner from the Freeform headquarters and um, it was me Dimitri McKinney and we had just done our screen test and we were like it was a nerve it, it was a nerve-wracking experience it was uh, the first screen test in that capacity and we went for lunch uh, to get kind of blow the steam off. I was there uh, with a Swedish payphone kind of uh, and I had run out of money so I just turned it off so that um, I don't know I wouldn't be contacted and get a very expensive bill. Um, therefore my manager couldn't reach me to tell me that I've gotten the part so like one hour into the lunch when uh, I turned the phone on there were so many missed calls from her and she said call me back as soon as possible I have something to tell you. Uh, but I didn't have any money on my phone, so I borrowed Demetrius' phone and I called her up and she said You got the part and uh, It was a great moment Yeah, I didn't believe it. I just cried and left. Demetrius found out too during that lunch, so it was just in Yeah, it was so much fun and then so Demetrius was the first person I told then we I had to go straight back uh, to the headquarters to do a chemistry read with Taylor. Thank you for your compliments on my English. It's yes, it is hard at times, but I'm um I'm a person who mirror the people I'm with. So now that I've been in Sweden um, for a while in Norway, I feel like I've lost all my English and that I'm not on top of my pronunciation. Whereas when when I'm surrounded by Americans, it's a lot easier. Um, but there was one thing that the rest of the cast would uh, laugh at me for, especially Demetria. And it's every time I'm trying to make a point because, <laughs> so Demetria's got an allergy. And when we went to restaurants together, I sometimes wanted to help her out and like mentioning it. Well, let's just sum it up like this. She's not at all allergic to diary. She's allergic to dairy. Um, I know that now that they're two different words other than that it's um, no I went to an English-speaking secondary high school in Sweden so I had a lot of English from that and also in Sweden we don't dub our TV series so we we grew up watching friends and the Simpsons and and like Fresh Prince of Bel-Air in the original language um, which is not the fact for many European countries I think that uh, gives Scandinavians or Swedes a good advantage in it. Thank you so much for congratulating me on the um, Spoiler TV Performer of the Month, April. Um, it's a big honor and I feel uh, very happy to get the recognition and all the support that uh, Switches Motherland for Salem fans have shown. And the rest of the question was on um, how I felt about the response to episode 7 when it aired. And uh, it was, pff, let me put it like this, I knew it was good writing um, and I just hoped that we would do it justice and I know everyone in the crew was aiming for that. It's just something, it was a very special day of shooting. We did them all in one day and uh, it was just something on how in between takes the, the set would be completely quiet. Um, in respect so that we wouldn't be thrown out of our emotions and um, the jokes were discreet and turned to a minimum unless we were open to joke and it was just we were treated like acting royalty and I think that enhanced our performance as well in one way and just um, remembering how uh, for episode 7 uh, the director Shannon Coley um, because I was um, I was stuck in this chair in the cell so in between takes I would never get up or anything because that would waste time and I wanted to stay in it so I was basically sitting there most part of the day because um, I didn't want to get out of it so she would have to she, she kind of tiptoed um, to me to uh, to give me the notes and trying to hide her crying because she didn't want her emotions to interrupt with our work and our process and it was just an amazing experience so therefore based on that I'm just so happy that it resonated with you at home and that it uh, went through you and thankful that you were open for it 
that you um, took our performance with and the writing and just uh, these scenes to your heart with open arms. Who's most like their character? Well, when we filmed it, the first season, we were all on board with the fact that Ashley and Nicole Williams is most like her character, Abigail Bellwether. But, I mean, as I watch the series now, throughout the season, you really see how people are using so much of themselves and just as their characters are growing, I feel like we're all sort of merging into being our characters. The one that sticks out though, um, as the one who's the least like her character, that is Lynn Renee. She's nothing like Alder. But she, I mean, not to say that she's not as badass. And if she, if she was a witch that had to fight for witches and be the, the big witch leader for 400 years, 300, I, uh, yeah. She'd probably be a lot like Alder. I'm guessing you have to wash away all your softness and goofiness. Maybe you don't, maybe it's the choice that Alder made that Lynn wouldn't make. Cause she's a fairy. A fairy, yeah. Um, but it's still Ashley. Ashley is still the answer. And also a little bit Jessica. As Tally. Yeah. I wish I could do this with them. If I could go for a coffee with any character on Motherland for a Salem. It would depend on, I mean, it would depend on what mood I'm in for that, that day or what I need and feel like I can give in that situation. A safe card is Tally, obviously. Um, just to kind of try, and, it would be a brain exercise to try to keep up with her energy. And um, I think, yeah, I think we could spiral off each other in a good direction. If not Tally, then I mean, Alder, wow, she's lived for 300 years. Of course, that would be the most interesting coffee. Um, well, I mean, it depends on how much she opens up. I'd love to hear what she's learned about love and uh, purpose. Why she wants to be immortal and how to trust people. Maybe she doesn't know that. I mean, maybe she isn't the wisest just because she's the oldest. Maybe wisdom comes from something else than age. Ooh, maybe it's Anacostia. It's a hard choice. Yeah, hard decision. I'm going with Tally. Tally Craven, let's have coffee. Thank you so, so much for taking the time to submit questions for us. It's been so much fun to answer it and a lot of the questions just brought me back uh, into shooting and it makes me miss my castmates so much and I'm glad that you're seeing them um, here with me even though I'm not. Thank you again for all the questions and for watching and we love your engagement and all the love you share and show us. Bye! Hey do! Habe! Tschüss! That's for all my European friends.